As we continue to follow the crisis at the southern border, the northern border is also setting records. Overwhelming staff and just shocking residents in some of these northern states. Our next guest is going to be meeting with Border Patrol agents a little bit later this afternoon. For more, let's welcome a New York Congresswoman and member of the House Ways and Means Committee, Claudia Tenney. Great to see you again. Good morning. Good morning. Great uh, to be on. So you represent, it's a massive district, geographically speaking, the New York 24th, located in upstate New York, uh, stretching alongside Lake Ontario, as you can see there. You've also got uh, a land border in your district as well with Canada. Take us through what's going on. Well, yeah, Rob, this is a real crisis. And I think what people are so focused on the southern border, and I've been saying this for a couple of years, although it's been happening for decades, the northern border has been a problem uh, for many years. A lot of illicit drugs, uh, illicit guns, for example, uh, people, and it's been a problem. And uh, now that we have this uh, totally uh, loss of operational control at our southern border, Joe Biden has uh, moved some of our northern border ag agents to go handle the major crisis at the southern border in record levels. But I'm meeting today in Buffalo uh, with the Buffalo sector. And uh, actually, I'm technically in Niagara County, which is uh, just north of, uh, of Erie County, where Buffalo lies. I'm going to be meeting with the border agents there where we're seeing over an 800 time increase, 800 times the normal amount in the northern border. And the agents are overwhelmed. They're stressed. They have problems dealing with uh, what's happening at the border because so many have been diverted to handle the crisis at the southern border. And un unlike Governor Abbott, uh, our governor, Kathy Hochul, is an accomplice to Joe Biden. She is helping with this problem passing laws in the legisl in legislation in her budget that she just introduced uh, that could actually add to the problem, including over a billion dollars to relocate illegal immigrants into New York State. And the New York taxpayers are already the highest tax in the nation in terms of income tax. And right. upstate New York has some of the highest property tax based on our per thousand rate, our percentage. And people don't realize that. You might think it's expensive to live in Westchester and New York City and Long Island, right. but we actually pay more based on a percentage in terms of property taxes. So all of this cost, expense, and lack of security is falling right into our communities in upstate New York. And you see, I, okay. I represent a huge part of upstate New York border. Yeah, your district is... is uh enormous. Um, it's the size of, of the state of Connecticut, to put that into perspective. Um, okay, so the numbers from the Border Patrol you just mentioned, an 850% increase in migrant, in migrant encounters, um, illegal migrant encounters, we should say that. But also, uh, Congresswoman, look, where are the, the majority of these people coming from? Are they coming from Mexico? Because right now, you know, that area, your district, is expecting like a foot of snow in the next 24 hours. How do they deal with that? <laughs> Well, we're really good at dealing with snow up here. Obviously, it's right. uh, something yeah, that the we are, are. For. We have the We have the capacity as long as we can continue to have uh, uh, plows and fuel uh, fuel based uh, machinery. Uh, as long as Kathy Hochul's uh, energy policies don't fast forward to where we have to rely on electric plows, right. uh, which would make <laughs> it really challenging when it's below uh, 40 below zero up here in this type of uh, environment. But uh, interestingly, I'll find out exactly what the mix is. But from what we're hearing. It's not just uh, Mexicans coming across the Canadian border and you say, how do they get there? Well, they know the, the border is, is not secure. They know it's porous. We also have a, you know, a Native American reservation that crosses over the border up in the what's called the Swanton sector. Right. And that's actually a state reservation, though it has federal recognition. And that's under the control of, of course, Joe Biden's accomplice, as I mentioned earlier, Governor Kathy Hochul and the New York State Troopers who she operates. I mean, this is up to her to really work with uh, our border agents and to make that happen. I'm going to find out how complicated that is. But I know as someone who's worked on Native American issues for over 20 years, that this is an issue. And how do we make sure that we keep our, our community safe? I hear from our sheriffs uh, all across the North Country and down all the way even to Niagara, that there are fentanyl uh, seizures every single week. And this is a problem. And that's what's killing our children. And uh, the cartels, again, are controlling our borders. Congresswoman, um, I, two questions, less than a minute. Um, I want to squeeze these in. Do you support the impeachment of Alejandro Mayorkas if, if Republicans of course, move forward uh, with that? Are you on board with that? Absolutely. I, I don't think we're going to get it in the Senate. But I think right now, at least showing the American people that we're fighting and we are fighting and that Mayorkas should resign. Look, okay. Joe Biden just reversed reversed his policy on the new laws coming into the District of Columbia. Let's hope we continue to put the pressure on 
and uh, and he'll start reversing some of the bad policy he initiated in his first two years. All right, Congresswoman, I know you will learn a lot more today when you meet with Border Patrol agents up there in New York. Keep us posted. Thanks so much for being with Thank us. Thank you. Have a great weekend. Thank you.